So for the one time, I decided, you know what? Let's work on this motor. So I had Shane come over and help me. It was good. But the thing is, what are we finding out about this, Shane? Almost all the bolts are hand tightened. It's disgusting. All the bolts on the automatic trans are hand tight. So it kind of like leads me to think that this was taken apart at one point and not put back together. But like, I just don't know. Let's hope the motor's not like... Trash? Yeah, that. <laughs> Let me tell you, automatic trans, you want to do it again? Ha <laughs> ha, fuck no. Fuck. Excuse my language. Hell no. It started from over here and it ended over here. <sighs> so part two today, I'm going to be taking off the six speed tranny from the old motor of the 20th anniversary. That way I can slap it on to the new motor and get the clutch all torqued down to spec and pretty much have it prepped for dropping it in i'm hoping by the end of today i can have the motor and tranny just hanging in there bolted down that way i can just work on all the miscellaneous parts of myself and that's ladies and gentlemen is how easy it is to get out of six speed compared to an automatic the fact that i could do it by myself and not need a second pair of hands <clears throat> Just shows you that automatics are way more difficult to take off. But again, they are a lot heavier, so yeah. Now to try to clean it up just a little bit because clearly someone had a major water leakage. Got a little bit of oil, or at least axle grease in here. So try to take care of all of this as much as I can. I'm using a little bit of purple power and get this at AutoZone. Just let it sit for a bit. <clears throat> oh yeah. So I cleaned up the tranny as much as I could. Uh, I forgot that I don't have a wire brush to actually clean it very well. Um, but the purple power did what it could against that. And now, just to take this clutch off, and it doesn't seem like it's like old. It looks fairly new. From what I have been told that once these start poking out a little bit more, like this way, that means that they're usually start, they're, that means that they're usually more worn out or so. Um, but this one looks fairly good. Almost looks brand new. So I'm just gonna take the clutch off and the flywheel. And I ordered new bolts for the flywheel. So I will torque those down to spec once I get it on that motor. So back to the kinks line that I was trying to show you guys. Look at that. I don't even think this is the correct turbo return line for this car, but I mean, Yes, you gotta do what you gotta do, but yeah. Let me compare it to the motor that I got. This is definitely the correct line. Right now what I'm doing is that I'm putting the hard line for the manual transmission ones um, because if the automatic transmission ones only come with one nipple right here and it has a turn down right here for the automatic where it cools off. Um, also, the manual ones have this nipple, which goes up into the little, uh, I forgot, where the sensor, the temperature sensor sits at, the little housing right here. It um, has this, which the automatic one does not. But the issue that I'm having is the knock sensor. So I'm gonna have to move the knock sensor just so I can plug it in and then torque it back down, which I honestly forgot, but I think it's like 12 foot pounds, if I'm not mistaken um but yeah uh all this is pretty much just like the turbo the inlet i got the the oem turbo inlet on because this one had a, a red aftermarket um but for smog obviously i don't know if they'll pass pass it because it's red even though it'll, it'll look nice because i have the 2.0t coil packs or the rdr8 ones but yeah 
So I think I'm just gonna keep the scheme of the black and red on this car. Um, it's gonna look good just because, I mean, the car is black. So. <sighs> so let me just do my mods. Let's get it going. So she's all ready. I uh, put the stock intercooler and piping back in. That way I can just bolt it onto the pancake pipe once it's back in the car. Uh, this turbo had two broken studs, so I used the other two studs from the other motor onto this. Um, this is all left over just uh, water because it's cold right now, so it's just not even, it's not even gonna dry up. This is leftover oil that I have to clean up still um, with a wire brush. I will get to it tomorrow because there is a lot of residue uh, oil uh, from God, who knows where. Um, I think when he had the, the aftermarket turbo inlet, it was just seeping right here because when I pulled the motor out initially, all of this was coated in oil. So I'm just going to assume that that's left over, but she's all ready to go. I also put the hard line from the manual in it. Got all the water lines connected with their clamps now i just need to figure out how to route this one nipple with that one to come up and uh, she'll be ready but i'm gonna call it a day i'll hit it tomorrow um it is hella cold so i'd rather just hit it tomorrow excuse the hair but so today what i'm going to be doing is actually installing the clutch with the new transmission to the new motor that way pretty much it's set so I can just drop it in today and hopefully have it mounted and everything with the exhaust manifold on, the motor mounts, dog bone, axles, and then just pretty much just take care of all the, the, the wiring. That way it's pretty much set to start, if that makes sense. Got the clutch in, all torqued down. Now to put the tranny on. And pray that I get this car done today. <laughs> so after fighting this transmission for two hours, I got it. This is all put together. So now all I need to do is just put this in the car as like a mock-up and make sure everything on this is tight. And then more than likely I'm going to finish it today. So... She's in, boys. My dumbass forgot that uh, the exhaust manifold needed a gas. I ripped the old one when I was taking off the studs. So now I have to get an exhaust manifold gasket for that one. And then that's pretty much it. Because everything else is plug and play. Everything else is pretty much all cleaned up, ready to go. Well, not clean, but you know, you get what I'm saying. <clears throat> I'll probably hit up Matt tomorrow. That way, uh, if he's free, he can come through. And we can just pressure wash like all of this grease and nastiness. That way, she'll be on the road and ready for sale. So she's all put back together, all the lines, all the water lines are all put together as well. Some of the lines are not tight, so I will remind myself to do that. Um, but everything electrical is tightened up. It is kind of a little bit of Mickey Mouse type stuff, just for the time being. But I just want to see if this motor actually works 100%, um, and then check compression. So, fingers crossed. did a very shitty job at recording 
me putting the motor back together or actually back in the car but uh this is currently how she is sitting uh everything i put back in all the lines and everything are connected they're not on their tight as you can tell like this so there is a lot of uh vacuum leaks all over but i guess the main thing that i have left just to put make it like a hundred percent running like it turns on and everything it runs and everything i just need to put the dog bone uh back in and then uh fix these vacuum lines make sure they're tight and there's no leaks because it does hiccup um and get a new one of these few boxes but she does turn on and i again i do apologize for not recording any of this but like when I put back together my R32, I uh, wanted to make sure everything was done correctly. So I couldn't be back and forth on uh, recording and such, but she's in.